hey guys uh, welcome to my channel today we will see how to georeference all the maps or topo maps or architectural plan maps in uh, QGIS so uh, we will try to georeference this uh, old architectural plan from Washington DC so uh, there are several methods of georeferencing from this first we need to have a, a reference map or a reference base map uh, to your France uh, old maps or topographic uh, maps so here first you have to add your uh, base map so here I'm going to use the open street map from the Google satellite image so if you don't have this uh, open street map you can check my video you can add uh, this XY tiles uh, you can get different satellites image like Google satellite NASA's black in the marble image and also Google hybrid image and this open uh, street map base maps. So first we need to have uh, this base map and we are going to georeference this uh, architectural plan map from uh, for this uh, Washington DC uh, area. So here I have added my uh, open street map. So we need to locate this location or first we have to go to exactly uh, to this place on the open street map so to do so we have uh, if you have a coordinate of uh, this area first you can use the latitude and longitude of this location and uh, move to the exact location to do so you have a uh, different option here you can just zoom into the area but if you you do not exactly know the location you can use a plugin which is called uh, lat long tools in QGIS you can just search for this uh, plugin in this manage uh, in the install plugin tab and you can freely install this plugin once you have installed the plugin you can use this uh, zoom to coordinate uh, tab so this window will help you to locate the location first but you have to get the latitude and longitude of the location so in my case I am going to to reference this image this is around this area so you can get the coordinate of this area like this latitude and longitude value and I come back to your QGIS and open this zoom to coordinate plugin and uh, paste the coordinates of the location which is yx value which is so then enter this location and automatically it uh, navigate to your uh, area so this is the area where I am going to do the France this uh, architectural map so once you have uh, the location you can use the jury France tool in QGIS to get this just go to this uh, raster layer and here we have jury France tool open this uh, window so this is where we are going to do reference the image so first we have to add this uh, map or this uh, architectural plan to use your reference window so click this uh, add data button select or add your image so this is it so you have to open the two windows side by side then you can check the exact location of the two images so here as you can see this is these buildings are this one so we are going to take the exact location of these buildings from this open uh, open street map uh, location so just once you have added your image just identify similar uh, locations from both image for example as you can see this one is this area is this one yeah this place is this one so zoom into your uh, first place or first location at least you need to take minimum of three uh, coordinate points or gcps in order to correctly uh, or accurately you france your image but as you increase the number of gcps your accuracy will also increase so I am trying to use at least four uh, GCPs. So first, identify the location or identify similar objects or similar features on both image, and then uh, take the 
coordinate from the GCPs from the base map in the reference the Anjou reference image. So we have identified this location, then zoom into the exact location and I take this uh, tool which is add uh, point tool. So here you have to exactly select the same place or the same location. Then if you have the coordinate of the, this location on, on another map, you can simply enter uh, the location. But in this case, we are going to use the from map uh, canvas method. So select this from map canvas. As we have identified, this location is around this one. We take uh, the same location here. And then click OK. <coughs> So we take one GCP, as you can see, this is the first GCP. Next, we are uh, similarly are going to identify the same or similar feature from the map. <coughs> as, as much as possible, we have to take a distributed location from the image. Rather than taking the same area, we have to take uh, the GCPs from the entire map or distributed GCPs. So we have to take care of uh, selection of these GCPs because it influences your final uh, accuracy of the georeferencing process. So once you have completed the uh, GCP selection, just click this RAM button in order to select the transformation method. It says you please select or the transformation set the transformation type. So here we have different methods based on the uh, transformation parameter. We have different uh, transformation uh, type so i'm going to use polynomial and resampling will be the nearest neighborhood so you have to configure the uh, srs or crs of the image which is the current map uh, 3857 epcgs so you have to give the output file name and uh, finally we can uh, click ok so as you can see residuals we have uh, some errors which is around 2.2 pixels 2.2 pixels from the all uh, gcps has 2.2 away from their uh, exact location so we have to change some of the gcps with higher uh, residuals or error because we need to have minimum of 0.5 or less than 0.5 error for each gcp so you have to change or you have to delete uh, one of these uh, highest uh, GCPs with highest uh, residuals. So, just for this tutorial, I'm just passing with this 2.2 uh, two pixel error. Once we have get this, you have to run the georeferencing process. Yeah, as you can see, it is completed, and the new image is added to the map canvas. You have to cross check the image whether it is false exactly on the it is exact location, as you can see. We have uh, some error, as you can see here, 2.2 pixel away. If you check the pixel of your image, it is around 0. Point. If you take the measure tool, yeah, it is around 0. 0.8. One pixel is 0. 0.8 by 0. 0.8 meter. We have two uh, pixel error which is around 1.6 uh, meter error so first we have to retake or re delete this uh, one of our gcps with the highest error and then we have to remove and add uh, another uh, gcps in order to get the minimum amount of residual or uh, the total error of the referencing so this is all about my today's tutorial and then See you in the next tutorial and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel. See you again.